You either like greyhound racing or you don't. But no one can deny that the dogs are magnificent animals. And yet a dog bred merely for speed and chasing a dummy hare can be hard to adapt when its racing career is finished. About 2,000 greyhounds are retired every year and have to be looked after by someone. To see how the problem is met by the BUAV Dog Rescue Organization, we called at West Ham Stadium when two more veterans ended their racing careers. In most cases, it's not very difficult to find homes for unwanted dogs. But a greyhound, remember, can't be turned into a pet overnight. And at this reception centre at Edgware in Middlesex, they undergo a period of detraining to rid them of hitherto instinctive habits of chasing and savaging small furry creatures. The fact that it can be done is proved by a sheep farmer in Wales who now uses three greyhounds for looking after his flocks. Apart from other breeds, the BUAV has placed nearly 700 greyhounds in good homes since 1957. Believe it or not, they're actually given away. Although before you dash home and start writing for one, bear in mind they cost about a pound a week to keep. They don't look as though they eat all that much, but they're pretty big animals after all. With this type of training, they gradually lose their interest in the toy rabbit and become generally much more tranquil. In fact, they make fine pets except for poor old dad, who has to take the dog for its daily trot round the block. Imagine going round in 60 seconds flat. 